Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again. This is part 9 of my makeup collection. I will link the playlist that has the other parts of it down below so you can go and see the rest of it if you like. I'm doing this kind of draw by draw so that there's not too much um, to deal with each time. Um, otherwise these videos would be like an hour or more long because I have a lot, a lot of makeup. Um, I'm filming this at night so the light's a little bit funky um, and I have this really annoying fly that keeps on buzzing around so yeah just super duper weird. So this drawer here is mainly mascara um, and primer and eyebrow stuff. So we will start with the primers. The first one, this primer, came out of my makeup kit um, that I used when I was at beauty school. This is from, it's basically Crown, but they have a different name on some of their stuff. Um, but this is the Artist Selection Cosmetics Ultimate Foundation Primer. It's actually not bad. Um, I've had worse. It is a dimethicone type um primer so it is quite silicony but it's um completely clear it's like a gel and you know it's of all the things in the kit it was one of the better things in the kit i have this maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser i haven't actually used it i have no idea what it's like but apparently it's supposed to be good i think i got this in a like a um sample type bag thing when you spent money on um, skincare items you got like a bag full of different things to try um, but I never actually used it so I have that sitting there I have a little tiny sample of professional I've used this a couple of times I can't say that I was super duper wowed or anything but there you go <laughs> I have the L'Oreal Base Magic um, in a little sample size. This, I think, was in the same thing that this was in. Um, I have not actually tried this yet, so I have no idea what it is like. I have this primer from LOL. It's not the world's best primer. It costs like $2. It's, you know, I don't think it's meant to be. Um, it does have dimethicone in it, but not really very much. Uh, glycerin is higher on the list than the dimethicone is. Um, in terms of being sort of like a moisturising or whatever, it probably works relatively well for that. I don't know how that it works particularly well as a primer. But I have actually used it and it was fine. Uh, I have this one from Anika. This came out of a beauty box at some stage. This is their Base de Maquillage Pure, whatever that is, their Pure Primer. I uh, have not actually tried this yet, so I have no idea what it is like. I have a lot of primers I haven't actually got around to using yet. <laughs> I have this Nude by Nature Undercover Airbrush Mineral Primer. This was, again, in the same one as the um, base magic and the baby skin I have not tried this one either so I have no idea what it's like but this is a full size one so which is pretty cool to get a full size one um, I have this eyeshadow primer from Nika K I have actually used this a couple of times it's just a normal like skin toning type one it seems to work well enough it's not great it's not terrible it's just fine um, I have this eye primer from Designer Brands. Um, I've had this for a little while. This is more like a jelly, almost no colour type one rather than one with colour. It's again fine, it's not great, it's not terrible. Um, I have this Vanishing Cream uh, Skin Retexturizing Primer to vanish lines and pores. This stuff is actually really, really good. Um, I've had it for a little while, you can't actually get this anymore. It's got this weird kind of texture. It's like, 
It's not really a cream and it's not really a gel or anything, but it is super duper effective. Um, it's one that I really should hurry up and, and use. Um, I probably have it on my list of things to use this year. It'll probably end up in a project at some point this year. Um, I have this NYX Lip Primer, which I bought at some stage. I haven't even opened it. I have no idea what it's like. <laughs> what else have we got? Oh, and I've got this one from The Runway Room. This is their lip prep. This is actually really, really good. If you like wearing lipstick and your like, lips are feeling like a bit dry or whatever, you put this on and they feel amazing. Plus, it has a slight plumping type thing to it so you can put it on um, to prime your like prep and prime your lips or you can actually put it on after you've had lipstick on for a little while um, yeah I, I have actually the day that I bought it I actually tried it out and thought it was pretty good so that's why I bought it go figure uh, it, it does what it's supposed to do um, now on to oh another primer is have them in two colours. These are the LA Go Pro Primers in white and I'm sure they've got name white and nude. So the nude one's obviously got a bit of colour to it, and the white one is uh, well white. If you wanted a white base, um, I think that's all my primary type things. Um, I have a NYX eyebrow shaper pencil thing. As you can see, I have not even taken it out of the box. What I want to know though is why when they do the boxes. So you just get this pencil and you have this bit and it kind of makes you feel like there's something on this side. But there's not. It's, it's completely empty on that side. Why do that? Why not just give us the damn pencil? I mean, I suppose it's so they can put all of this writing and stuff on it. It's just... I don't know. It just seems like a waste of energy. And product etc so I have this savvy clear brow gel this is actually completely fine it works perfectly fine as a brow gel it's not great it's not groundbreaking but it does the job that you want it to do I have two of the designer browns extender brow these are basically a this one I got in a um, beauty box because I bought this one. This is basically these like silky fibery things. It makes a bit of a mess when you take it out of the package. But they don't tend to come off your eyebrows once you put it on. Um, and they just fill in, make your eyebrows look a bit thicker. And you know, it works well enough. So I've just realised it's probably not even focusing properly. It's just like these little fibery things that go in your eyebrows make your eyebrows thicker. A bit like um, mascara that makes your eyelashes bigger. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this because, you know, it, it actually does work for the most part. Um, I have an e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This one is in, I don't know, um, probably a little bit dark judging by the colour of the waxy part. The powder is probably fine, the wax looks a bit too dark. I don't know when I got that one. Um, and I have this LA Colours one which is basically like a universal kit. It says medium. Um, but pretty much anybody could use at least one of those colours. This even comes with a little pair of tweezers if you want to pluck some stray hairs. But it doesn't have a mirror, which is kind of stupid. Anyway, um, I have the Anastasia Brow Powder in Caramel. Um, as you can see, have not used it very much. It almost looks like it's got a hard pan on it. That's, that's not good. Um, yeah, so I bought that at some stage. <laughs> I have a number of other browy bits and pieces here. Um, these are from the Anastasia 
kit thing that came with, I think it was the brow powder and brow whiz and which I've used up, um, and the um, brow gel which I have also used up. So yeah, that's that's them and the little spoolie and uh, brush that comes with the brow powder. Um, yeah. I have this eyebrow pencil from OXX, which is Kmart's brand. Uh, this does not have colour, but it is basically like a taupe kind of colour. Uh, blonde or taupe or something. Um, this Rimmel in dark brown. This is probably from when I had my hair dyed uh, really dark a few years back. Um, I have a eyebrow pencil from Kmart. This is like no brand, just the Kmart brand. This is in blonde. Fairly, fairly standard blonde kind of colour. Uh, I have this one from Ofra, which is in what they refer to as universal. So basically, it's supposed to be a taupe, but seriously, that is too dark for somebody with very light hair, in my opinion. Uh, I have this one from Coral Colours, which is in dark brown, which, you know, clearly, is probably... It's almost as dark as the uni like the universal one's almost as dark as it is. Because my hair's purple, I can pretty much get away with any colour brows I like. Because um, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I have this one from Chella, which is in light brown. This is not my favourite pencil. Um, but again, in light brown, it is the same colour as the dark brown and the universal, which is just weird to me. Um, I have this one, which is one of those tattoo ones. It says from Monomola. They're the same ones who do the lip tattoo, one of the brands of lip tattoo. Um, but can you see how red that is? I couldn't use that in my eyebrows, and I don't think anybody could use that in their eyebrows and it not look weird, but it would probably make a really good eyeliner, because, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and this is in Brown 01, by the look of things. I'm assuming that's what BR001 actually stands for. Uh, I have this other Chella product, which is their Ivory Lace Highlighter. This is like you're supposed to put it under the brow bone um, to help define the shape of it. I've used it a few times. Not my favourite product. I have this one from BYS, which is in brown. Which, again, is quite dark. I have all these ones that come across so dark. So weird. And then I have this one from Revlon Colors Day. It has a tinted wax on one side and it has a highlighter on the other. This is supposed to be in light brown. So, see that one is so much lighter than the others and you know, pretty ashy, which is quite good. Um, so that's the tinted waxy side and then you have the highlighter side which is a little stiff quite frankly and I think probably too dark really for a brow highlight but that's just my personal opinion and everything else I believe oh look another pencil this is the brow pen from designer brands this is supposed to be in blonde um, yeah I'm pretty sure I'm just going to declutter that can you even see that like that's terrible yeah that one's getting decluttered there's a good reason to go through and swatch these things, isn't there? Okay, so that is all of the brow stuff. So all the rest is just mascaras. I 
I have so many mascaras. Um, some of them haven't been opened, as you can see by the brushes that are not stuck in actual eyeshadows, um, mascaras. So I have two clump crushes. I have one in very black. Actually, they're both in very black. I actually really like Clump Crusher. It's one of my preferred mascaras, which is why I have so many of them. Because um, I got a couple of them on sale when they were going pretty cheap. So I have two of those, which I haven't opened. They're just like in my back stock. Um, and then I have one of the CoverGirl Exact Lights in Black Sapphire, which I'm assuming has got a blue tinge to it but I haven't I haven't actually opened it so I don't actually know <laughs> the figure um, I have this most of these coloured ones have actually been opened and used at least once this one is in electric blue these might have to go this year I don't know how <sighs> see this happened to one of my other ones and now I can't use it so it's really, really annoying. Yep, well, that one is buggered. So there's another one for D-Stash. Can't use it once it doesn't, the brush doesn't come out. Um, I have this one in Poppin' Pink. This one at least comes out. So it's like a um, metallic kind of pink. interesting smell. I have this one in metallic gold. Look how bright that gold is. I gotta admit, that's pretty awesome. I have this one in majestic purple. And it's another one that's busted. Yay! You can see how often I open these, can you? Um, this one in Vivid Violet. That one came out. Looks like it's drying out a bit. I should use that one a few times before I have to throw it out. This one in Totally Teal. Oh look, another one that's broken. And that one's such a gorgeous one too. It's like metallic teal. I mean, I suppose I could try and stick a uh, disposable thingy in there, but I'm not even going to bother, like quite honestly. Um, and I have this one which is in silver chrome, which, as you can see, totally silver. Awesome! That one at least still works. And the last of my coloured, like properly coloured one is this one, which is in navy blue. Which is just a straight up navy blue. None of them have special wands or anything like that. So I've, I've managed to declutter three of them without even trying. Um, I have this Lash Tastic from W7. I haven't actually opened this. I got this in a little sample kit. It's in blackest black. Um, this low waterproof mascara, which I used in a tutorial thing. I really need to use this one up. That one needs to go on my list. Oops. Um, I have this Lash Genius from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is one of those ones that's supposed to turn your not um, waterproof mascara into waterproof mascara. I think I tried it once on a day I thought I might cry and then I didn't cry so that was a waste of time. Um, I have this So Susan which I haven't opened but I know I had this um, f friend of a daughter of a friend. She was kind of playing around with stuff so she may well have opened it but I certainly haven't opened it or used it. Um, which is basically just a black mascara. I have this uh, Sky Rise NYC which I haven't opened. I think this is just in black. It doesn't... Oh, extreme black. Um, I have this one which is from Kmart which I have opened and probably need to use. It's looking like it's starting to get a bit dry. Another one on the list to use up. I 
have this Revlon Custom Eyes, which I was actually, I think I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've used this one. This one's actually in brown. Um, I often grab, like, I often have brown ones for days where I don't want. Um, but this is one of those ones that you use the bottom one to lengthen and define, and then you change it over and you get length and drama or whatever. Oh, okay, so it's got these, it's kind of really hard to see, but it has, it just kind of moves the, um, can you see that? It's so subtle. I don't see how it could really make much difference, but there you go. <laughs> That's what that is. Um, another one that I need to just use up. Um, this is the Cheek Room Curl and Long Lash Mascara. This came out of a Mimi box. Um, I haven't used that one. This is the L'Oreal Double Extend. Um, I have actually used this a few times. Again, it's one that really needs to be used up. I think it's in bronze. I think that's the second colour. Yeah. It's kind of like a bronzy kind of colour. So you're supposed to put on this end first the black end and then put the other one over it. Another one that needs to just be used up. I have this Lash Stiletto Voluptuous which I'm pretty sure I haven't opened. Somebody else might have but I didn't. Uh, this is in brownish black. I have this Define a Lash Volume Mascara in waterproof. I don't normally buy waterproof. Um, this one is in very black. And then I have these ones which I definitely have not opened. This is the Astrata, Astralis Multi Mega Lash um, in Blackest Black, which I bought because by buying it I got like a, it and a couple of other things, I got something else on sale or reduced or something. So I figured I'd try it out. Of course, I haven't even opened it. Um, the... What brand is this? Wow. Rimmel. Rimmel Super Curler 24 Hour um, in black. Again, it's still got the sticker on it, so I have not opened it. Um, I have two... Looks like somebody tried to open one of them. Uh, two of the Revlon Bold Lacquer Grow Luscious mascara in blackest black um, I got like a two for one deal on these which is why I have two of them and then I have this Elizabeth Mott It's So Big sample which as you can see I haven't even opened came out of a sample box so that is everything that was in this drawer again I will leave a playlist linked down below if you want to see all of the other collections that I have done or all the other videos I've done so far on my collection if you want to subscribe click down below don't forget to click the little bell thing so that you get notifications because uh, YouTube is being weird uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup collection type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!